we have Emperor in a bucket. Playing in blue as the Franks. And he's playing against Pete. PT here in red as the Persians. Persians extra HP on their TC is relevant. Also on their docks, right? Is relevant to uh, this kind of map. They're not exactly S tier, but you'd see them commonly picked on Nomad, right? Maybe when Spanish get banned, you have backups, Malians, Persians. Franks, not really, but the cheaper castles feel can be kind of nice later on, maybe. Anyway, both of these players around 1700. Um, so very, very good. So we should see some pretty decent gameplay here uh, on Nomad. Where you start without a TC and you just need to build it somewhere, which leads to situations like this, where you're sharing a wood line. Fantastic. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Blue has docked over here. He also has some animal friends with him, a boar, deer, cow, some berries. Nice. And uh, PT has docked over here with some animal friends as well. Already has a fishing ship out, so maybe a better build order from him. Uh, we'll have a bit of an eco advantage now. We already see he has a bit of an advantage. He has an extra villager. He got his TC up a bit faster, I guess, which makes the difference here. Um, yep. Yeah. Kind of awkward having the blue on the left-hand side and PT on this side when the town centers are opposite. Do I have a way to change that? Uh, casting. Yes, now this is better. Okay. Persian privilege, one free fish. Oh, plus 50 wood. Okay. Oh, this blue has an absolute disaster. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I just saw the villager. Oh, that is brutal. Oh, garrison. Garrison. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Blue having an absolute shambles of a game so far. Oh, my God. Slow to build the TC. Uh, villager dies. So we garrisoned in time, then ungarrisoned. But the closest villager... Just happened to be the injured villager. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. He deserves that. He stole the pig from under your TC. That's fair, actually. That's fair. No piggy stealing. What's the scouting like here? So I guess they know where each other are. Uh, PT doing some scouting with his cow. Emperor in a bucket has done some decent scouting as well. But this is the kind of most important thing. You want to know where your opponent is. As Pete has... Yeah, he's taking a deer here. This isn't ideal. You'd really want a boar or have some herdables nearby. But he's having to go a bit long distance. But he does have the fishing ships working away. So, it's all right. And, yeah. So, big action at the start of this game. Huge. Huge action. Um, and let's see the way this goes. So, what is Blue going to be thinking? He's like... Okay, I know I'm behind now, and I know we're super, super close. So, is is it in Blue's interest interest to make this messy, considering that he's behind? Or does he try and run away and get some castles up? Because if he tries to make it messy and tries to push the TC somehow, it's not really going to work too well against the Persian TCs, as PT is housed, gets loom, okay. Um, yeah, so I think Blue is just in a really bad spot here. Really, really bad spot. Is Trush good on Nomad? I think it is. I think I've seen a lot of players do that. Can be really good. Yeah, it, it all just depends, right? If you're super close like this, it makes sense. But uh, let's look at the extra resources. There's stone and gold here for PT, which is massive. Uh, Blue has spotted these resources, so it's actually kind of safe for him as well. But it will be easier for PT to get to his. Okay, as he's taking in a boar. No crazy mistakes by him. Ah, nice. Okay. It's a three eco lead, including fishing ships. And yeah, pretty solid. Pretty, pretty solid. So what's PT likely to be thinking here? It's like, okay, I don't know if he's... Did he hear the villager dying to the boar? Maybe. Um, so maybe he's going to put on some pressure somehow. Let's see. Both civs very good booming civs as well, right? Franks with the berry bonus is really nice, the free farming. Um, but not that relevant, right? You're not dropping farms really on Nomad. You want to get your fish going first and then maybe later on get to a farming eco. So the bonus for the Franks not really kicking in. Uh, Persians with the faster working TCs. 
not sure. I think it takes a while for that to actually make a difference in villager number or anything like that. But yeah, let's see. Saw the villager dying through fog. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. But I guess it's going to be a race to try and take water as well, right? And forget about that. As we see a douche. Oh my god. So here we go. PT says, yeah, yeah, I'm going to douche. That's it. <laughs> as I don't know what blue is going to do here. It's a fantastic choke point as well. It's not like blue can... Well, blue can't really do anything here. Doesn't have the wood for a TC. Has the wood for a lumber camp once he uh, turns in this. Yeah, so he goes for a lumber camp over here. And yeah, nice. Amazing douche. This is annoying as hell, and the Persians are obviously going to win this. Um, as he loses another villager to a four. <laughs> oh no. But where, what happens now? Now the TC is killing the boar instead of the... Okay, okay, okay. So blue just gives up on his TC, and this will go down pretty quickly. Um, as PT clicks up to Feudal Age. Okay, so... Gets the res for Feudal Age, then douches, then clicks up. Okay, makes sense, I think. All right. TC gradually going down. This is fantastic timing, right? Because blue won't be able to go up to Feudal. It's actually fant a fantastic play. As blue clicks up, I think blue is, re uh, blue is obviously a good enough player to realize the situation that he needs to go up. And he'll understand the timing here as well. So he really needs to repair here. And this is putting him quite far behind. Look at the wood just... Being sucked away there. Not ideal. Not ideal. Really smart. Really smart play uh, by PT there with the timing. Wonder if he could have sniped that Vil. Anyway, Blue just keeping the TC up enough to get to Feudal. And I think he will. I think he will. He has enough on wood. It does cost you extra, right, to repair your TC. Um, then, then repairing a normal building. But massive. Massive. As Blue's docks doc been scouted it has not been okay blue 20 seconds away needs to keep repairing here and is okay it's 10 seconds left it's gonna take him some time to have enough uh wood for another TC, so PT is just going to be miles ahead here. He'll be able to produce villagers. Could even, yeah. He's obviously producing villagers now, as Blue is going to abandon this TC. And PT will just destroy that and then get back to work, I guess. Or maybe he'll go double douche. Let's see. Hey. As both players are up to feudal, but Blue does not have a TC, which is not ideal. And he's going to try to find somewhere else to place one. My place one between these two wood lines feels like a decent spot. Um, but we'll have to come forward then to get gold and stone. Let's see. What does he see? Yeah, I might just drop it here. But he doesn't have the wood. Oh my goodness. As, <laughs> as PT is just charging the villagers here and blue just has... Well, it says he has 13 on wood. But does he want to drop another lumber camp? He ideally would drop a TC. Oh my goodness. As PT is just going to wall these villagers in. Blue going to drop a tower. Now he doesn't have enough stone for a TC. Ay, 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 ay. Now he's going to stone, spending the wood on a mining... Ay, 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 ay. This is just a disaster. This is just a disaster. As PT is trying to blast his way in here. 18 villagers versus 26. Oh, there's a bit of shenanigans on water just passing here. So both players guilty of not patrolling across the water. Uh, okay, lots of vil fighting here as the tower goes up. But uh, yeah, realistically, PT can just boom and win the game now. Um, we didn't even talk about like land compositions or anything like that. Um, but Blue still with his fishing eco, which is kind of keeping him alive. PT really needs to keep sending the fires forward. Obviously, he's a bit distracted. Nice wall in by Blue here. Uh, yeah, blue still heavy on stone. We'll want to drop a TC at some stage. Yeah, and PT's just going back to work here. Okay. As blue is going to drop the TC in here on the wood. Uh, 
And yeah, the score tells the story. Nomad Team Games is arguably top three team game map. It is kind of chaotic. Yeah, I've, I've casted a few uh, White Wolf Palace games on Nomad and it's just insane trying to keep track of everything. Like when it goes late and it usually does go late, right? It's quite nice. Okay, PT now is going to clean up the fish. Um, Blue doesn't have any gold to make chips. Not ideal. And he's just dead. Uh, he's just dead. I don't see how he comes back from this. But you never know. You never know. You really shouldn't come back from this position. Okay. Blue is losing the water. I wonder if Blue... He probably should just GG. What happened to this villager? I guess she escaped or died. I'm not sure. As the fish might be vulnerable now, Blue is coming over with the galleys. Or with a galley. The villa ran to the left. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Hey, Blue just having some fun. It's almost griefing at this stage, but Blue is very unlucky with the TC placements, in fairness. Uh, okay. Gally getting some damage here. This is kind of the only damage Blue has been able to get. Uh, and he's killing the fish. ET going to send back a uh, fire ship to deal with this. Doesn't look like it. Um, as he's re-douching. Oh my goodness. Deletes his TC, goes for another douche here. This is, this is cruel. This is absolutely cruel. But it looks like Blue is in a better position to deal with it this time. He's been taken off stone though, so that's an issue. But could drop a market and sell some of that wood. He does have a lot of it. Are you in range here? Oh my god. Okay, you weren't in range, so just delete and douche again. Oh my god. Yeah. Blue is entitled to laugh there. At the slightly failed douche, but it doesn't really matter. As we have blacksmith and market walls here. Okay. Uh, I like this, right? It's going to stop Blue from getting up to Castle Age anytime soon. Uh, not that he was very close, but whatever. Uh, Red still has a fish alive here. But it's over. Is Blue going to start griefing? Let's see. Coming over to take berries here. Again, a bit more efficient for the Franks. <laughs> it's just intimidation at, at this point. He's not even clicking up. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just know that I could do it if I wanted, as Blue is dropping a market. Okay, let's see. Okay, now he garrisons. Franks on berries is not over yet, for sure. Yeah, the first TC wasn't in range, so had to redouche. Okay, Blue might see some market abuse now. Getting kind of hot. All right. As PT is on the way to Castle Age. And once he gets up, he'll be able to redouche again, like infinitely. As Blue is laming here, trying to lame. Here's the villager. Still alive. Oh no, it's a different villager. Okay. Multiple villager fights happening here. Oh. Oh my goodness. What an absolute mess. As the douche is continuing. Okay, six fire galleys now for PT, but surely when he gets up to Castle Age, it's over. Ten villager lead at the moment, but obviously a bit of idle time when he didn't have a TC. Okay, blue, slightly screwed. He needs to find, oh, he's dropping a TC over here. Okay, so I think he bought some, uh, he sold some wood and bought some stone. I'm gonna drop the TC up here, okay. PT is kind of tracking this. He'll be able to douche this immediately once he gets to Castle Age. Has everything he needs now. He could probably drop a castle if he really wanted to. Um, but yeah, won't need to delete his uh, original TC anyway. But he needs to make sure he has enough villagers to do it. Okay. Gonna be a GG from blue. Not yet. As PT is setting up a tower here. But that should be battered down by blue. No one has any barracks as far as I can tell. So we're not gonna see any knights or anything normal like that. As blue is... Trying to douche proof his base, is that what is that what's happening? And actually PT can't build a TC on the uh, oh he's just gonna castle drop. Okay. That's much worse. He's just gonna castle drop. Oh yeah, yeah. Massive. Absolutely massive. Towers are going up. Oh yeah, yeah. 
wheelbarrow on the way for the Franks. What does it mean? As he's selling food and wood, buying stone. I don't know what's going on. Has to know this is here. GG's called. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's how you win a game with buildings. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. That is irritating as hell if you're blue. <laughs> nice play, though. PT. GG's.